Hey guys, this is David the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. In this video today, I'm going to talk about Candida and acne. Now, if you aren't familiar with what Candida is, Candida is uh, basically a yeast infection uh, in the body, um, which is caused by an imbalance in the amount of good and bacteria, good and bad bacteria in your body, and specifically in your gut flora. Um, so basically, your body has a lot of your body has bacteria in it. And there's good bacteria in your body, and there's bad bacteria in your body. Now, antibiotics, typically uh, uh, acne antibiotics and other antibiotics as well, um, basically just kill the bacteria in your body um, that you know may be causing a problem. The problem with that is, that is that the antibiotics will kill the bacteria, both the good and the bad acne in your body. And what you want to do is balance out the good bacteria with the bad bacteria um, so that it's there's a holistic basically balance in your body and your body works more synergistically in order to digest food, in order for your intestines to work properly and in order to basically flush out things out of your body like toxins and, and you know fungus and, and anything that could potentially cause problems or further yeast growth, candida growth or you know acne growth. Um, so basically uh, Candida, like I said, is a yeast infection that has grown out of control. And it grows out of control because the yeast, uh, excuse me, the bad bacteria is, is at a much higher level than the good bacteria. Now, the good bacteria, you want to get good bacteria in your body and in your diet because when you bring that good bacteria up, it balances that uh, bacteria out in your body and it helps your intestines uh, work properly and, and flush things out. So basically, yeast infection or candida, which is a yeast infection, um, you know, when you see, when you bake bread or cookies or, you know, brownies or, you know, well, not brownies really, but sort of, I don't know, <laughs> muffins, anything that rises, yeast is the ingredient that makes that uh, rise. Um, so basically, when you have a yeast infection in your body, or a candida, uh, that yeast infection will grow out of control, and what happens in the intestines is that that yeast infection is growing, and it's spreading, and it's it's basically clogging up and making the intestines less inf less efficient and less effective in both uh, detoxing, cleansing, and uh, flushing out, and basically the, the, the overall digestive system. So that yeast infection, when it's growing out of control, causes it hampers the the synergistic um, uh, you know effects or you know ability to process and digest food in the digestive and intestinal. Uh, tracks and if your yeast infection grows out of control even more, it can spread you know anywhere in your body and it can just keep spreading. Um, now this is something that a lot of people have that they aren't really familiar with um, because you know the, the yeast is just growing out of control and they're feeding the yeast with things that cause it to grow even further. Now things that feed the yeast infection or the candida, the same thing, is uh, sugar, which is huge. Sugar feeds yeast, and then yeast itself. So, and you want to cut out sugar and yeast and um, Really, anything that would cause um, that to grow as well are th things that could be mold, mold, that things that could mold, um, or fungus-based things. So things like mushrooms, um, peanuts, things that are uh, fungus or mold-forming type foods. Um, so, but the main things you want to worry about and focus on, or not worry about, but really focus on keeping out of your diet is sugar and yeast. So you want to cut sugar out of your diet, including and yeast. Um, so breads, uh, muffins, things like that, and then sugar, which is the main culprit, which is the biggest thing, um, you know, anything, soda, sh candy, ice cream, um, treats, snacks, you know, and things like that. And also you want to drastically reduce uh, natural sugars as well, because that is still something that can feed uh, the, the yeast. Um, so you want to even reduce fruits and increase vegetable intake. So even reducing fruits drastically for, for the period of time to, to kick it out of your body. And then also you want to reduce carbohydrates because carbohydrates um, form simple sugars which will feed the yeast overgrowth as well. Um, so basically to reverse this yeast infection and to reverse the candida, which could be causing your acne, um, you want to reduce sugar and yeast intake, and I recommend this either way. You don't want to. Uh, most people eat too much sugar and yeast anyway, so I recommend that you reduce this, whether or not candida is causing your acne. And to determine whether candida is causing your acne or not, um, a lot of times, if if your if your skin itches at all, that could be one thing. Um, if you kind of have mental fogginess, that's kind of another symptom of it. Um, there's a few other symptoms, but I'd say those are the main two. Sometimes jock itch and itch in the you know, area of the jock. 
awkward. Um, that is one of the symptoms, so um, really just reduce your sugar and yeast intake. Um, so basically, candida can cause acne, and it really is a big culprit. So you want to reduce sugar and yeast intake. That's the first step. The second step is to increase the good bacteria. Now, what you want to do with that is eat more fermented foods, and I did make a video called Fermented Foods for Acne that increases the good bacteria in your gut flora, which helps um, balance that out. So look for the look uh, look up the Fermented Foods for Acne video that I made and watch that. And then another thing is including probiotic supplements in your diet, and I made a video called Probiotics for Acne, so check out that video as well. So those two videos will help. Um, and then also in your diet, you just want to include a lot of a uh, lot of organic raw vegetables um, or steamed, uh, either way, um, and then uh, you know meats uh, and, and things like that, um, and protein meats, protein eggs, uh, meat, uh, green leafy vegetables, and a small amount of fruits. You don't want to have too much fruit because that sugar can feed yeast infection and can do it as well. Um, so that's basically how you keep the yeast infection under control, reverse it, and uh, begin to holistically uh, heal your intestines and balance out the good and bad bacteria so that your intestines and digestive system can work properly and effectively so that your body flushes uh, toxins and bacteria and it decreases that bad bacteria and toxins that will cause acne, breakouts, eczema, and really a lot of other skin conditions and rashes as well. Um, so I hope that explains candida well for you and I hope you understand candida at a better level. Um, basically just reduce sugar and yeast intake and include probiotics in your diet and fermented foods in your diet. And the fermented foods you want to include um, are uh, basically cultured foods, cultured vegetables, and you can make those homemade at home. So look that up if you want to learn more about that. Uh, so that's it for this video guys. Um, if a candida yeast infection is causing your acne, um, you know, look at how, look at, you know, what I said and using that in your diet and life. And either way, it's healthy for you. So even if it's not candida, it's good to implement those things, reducing sugar and yeast and increasing probiotics and fermented foods and a lot of dark green leafy vegetables. Um, so that's it, guys. This is Dave, the Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. We're clearing the acne of the world 1% of the time, starting with you. Hit the yellow subscribe button above to subscribe to my channel for future videos. Hit the thumbs up like button below if you learned something in this video, or if you are awesome and you just feel like being positive and an optimistic person who smiles every day at least once. Oh yeah. Hit the like button below, and then hit the share button to share it on Facebook and Twitter. And leave your comments, questions, thoughts, and feedback in the comment section below. I'll see you in my next video, and I'll see you on my website at acneracingsecrets.com below. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. Bye.